Chris, are you okay? Ramon, what are you doing in my room? What do you mean? You're in my room. Oh, how did I get in here? And why does my head hurt? Well, you came over for my tío's birthday party last night and had a little too much to drink. That explains the headache. Where did I get this bruise from? You wrestled my grandma last night. Did I hurt her? Oh, no, she's perfectly fine. We actually had to pull her off you or else she was gonna hurt you even more. Wow, I got beat up by an old lady? That's new. Anything else happen? <sighs> You're also trending on Twitter right now, and trust me, you don't want to know why. Yeah, I, I don't. Ah, man, this headache is terrible, though. You wouldn't happen to have any medicine, would you? I have something even better. Follow me. Are you going to give me mayonnaise? Well, it looks like it was a good party. It was. Until you got here. My bad. <laughs> So, where's this hangover remedy you have? In Mexican culture, the cure to hangover is... Menudo! Also known as pancita. Your hangover remedy is soup? It's not just any soup. Every Mexican knows that when you have a hangover, this is what you eat. Menudo por el crudo. Crudo? It's slang for hangover. Oh, but how's a bowl of soup supposed to cure my hangover? I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the chemical properties to do that. Look, I don't know why Menudo cures hangovers or what chemical properties it has that make it work, but it just does, okay? All right. Well, what is it made of? Menudo is typically made out of onion, garlic, oregano in a broth made from a red chili pepper base. It's usually eaten at events, parties, and on the weekends. The soup looks good, but what on earth is this jiggly thing? Oh. That's tripe. And that is what exactly? Cow meat? Hmm. So is this soup like pozole? Eh, they are similar, but pozole is made with pork or chicken instead. But they both have hominy. Which are these, right? Yup, and some people like the menudo without hominy. And there's also a variation of the soup called menudo blanco. It's menudo, but without the red chili pepper base. Interesting. Well, not gonna lie, it does look pretty tasty. Uh, before you dig in, you need to add some garnishes. You add butter to this? No, I'm just reusing the container. You know Mexican families never actually have butter in here. Menudo is typically served with chopped raw onions, oregano, diced chilies, and lemon. Okay, a little bit of onion, some oregano. Mm. Ooh, no chili pepper for me. Typical Chris. Ooh, and some lemon juice. How's that look? Looks like you're ready to eat some menudo. Mmm. Ooh. Those fresh garnishes really make those flavors pop. See, I told you. Mmm. And this cow meat is so tender and delicious. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, the tripe. I'm glad you like it because it's actually the stomach lining of a cow. What did you say? That tripe is the stomach lining of the cow. I knew you'd like it. And why didn't you mention that earlier? Because it would have made you not want to try it. But you see how much you liked it? Finish that bowl and you'll be feeling better in no time. I, I don't know if I can finish it. Why not? I kind of feel worse after learning that information. Ah, oh, come on, you can't be serious. Oh, you were serious. You did throw up. Uh, I'm sorry. Ramon, pásame la cebolla. Uh, trust me, mom. You don't want it. What is up guys? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like because it helps us a lot. And let us know in the comments down below if you have ever tried menudo. Or just comment down below something because we read every single one of your guys' comments. And uh, with all that being said, click right here to check out our last video. Click right here if you aren't subscribed yet. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you guys are still watching right now, comment down below. Menudo.